Howdy, Brett. It's Mike. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you the base part for Welcome to Misery. I just made like a 10 minute video, so I'm going to try to condense this because I shouldn't uh, shouldn't have to go on for 10 minutes. Probably just a bunch of extra information. So i um, just going to jump right to it. This is Welcome to Misery, track two on the EP. Um, base part's pretty simple. Come in um, um, with an F sharp. It, the progression is F sharp to B to um, D to C sharp. Um, so that's your progression. So you're going 2, 7, 10, 9. Uh, that was a 9. I don't know if the buzz kind of cut that out. So 2, 7, 10, 9 all on the E string. So your pattern is gonna it's gonna come in on the and, and your pattern is gonna be like one, two, three, four, one. So there's your intro. Um, you do that, you know that one progression four times. I'll make a thing in the comments that shows you uh, how many times uh, each part is repeated. Um, so that way it makes it a little easier for you, or in the description, I guess. I don't know if it's in the description, but it'll be in the description. Um, so then after that, it's going to jump right into the verse, and the verse part is just a little modification of the intro part. Um, so during the verse, you're going to be doing straight eighths, um, exact same progression, F sharp, B, uh, D, C sharp, uh, exact same thing. Um, and so your verse is going to sound like this. So you have it going the whole way through straight eights once, followed by the intro part again. So you're gonna go straight from you know holding the first, you know the, holding the one and starting on the and, to going to starting right on the one and just back and forth like that. Um, so that verse part you're gonna do twice um, for the first time, um, and we don't really have a bridge; just goes right into the chorus for this. Uh, so for the chorus, um, also a pretty simple progression and pattern. You're gonna be starting on the B. Yeah, I would jump up to the A string at this point. Um, you'll be going on the B to a D, then to an E. And so that chorus part is going to sound like like that. So do that twice. Um, and the chorus part is basically one big part. Um, and so that part, you're going to be doing that, what I just showed you, twice. Followed by a variation where it'll go B, uh, B, D, E, C. So the third time through the chorus, uh, the third part in the chorus part is B, D, E, C, followed by that part again. Like that. And so that's the, um, that's the chorus part. That whole thing is just one big thing. Um, and every time the chorus is done, that's only done once. So you do two times the first thing, and then one time of the second thing followed by one more time of the first thing and so that's the chorus pretty simple um, after the chorus you're gonna be hit with three more verse parts followed by one more chorus and then it's the breakdown the breakdown is um, <clears throat> a little more complicated because I like to do that and I like to make things nice and complicated so everybody's thoroughly confused um, so the breakdown is in um, it's in 5-8, followed by, followed by 6-8, um, and I'll explain that here. Um, you'll hear the guitars going like this. Like that. Um, and so that's in 5-8, um, and the bass part just kind of complements that. Um, so you're going to be doing an open E string and an open A string. And you're going to be striking it every time, so you're going to, uh, every eighth. So you're going to want to just <clears throat> count it out. Um, so while the guitar's doing that part, you're going to be doing E. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, A. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Like that. 
and then uh, after it does that twice I think um, you'll be hit with uh, those notes that are held and this is the point where it goes to 6-8 and you just have to kind of count out those times and, and you can just feel it out um, but at that point where the guitar is like like that um, so you'll hear that guitar part the bass underneath of that is very simple um, go back up to the E string and you'll go uh, <clears throat> uh, B F sharp uh, A E and then when, as soon as that chord that power chord is struck on the guitar uh, just hit the A, the open A string like that um, and then halfway you'll hear, you'll hear it in the recording um, it's just a slide up to the 12th fret of the A string uh, just on the bass. So you'll just go like that, add some vibrato because it's fun. So there's that. Um, and then you'll hear the <clears throat> you'll hear the uh, next part of the breakdown, the, uh, the kind of chugging part. Like that. Um, and at that part you're gonna um, you just kind of follow along on the bass, and I'll just show you what it is. The progression is uh, F sharp to uh, to A, and then F sharp to B to A. So I'll go ahead and show you the pattern here. Like that. Um, and just kind of listen for how many times it does that. And then after that, you have um, the part where the guitar is just kind of holding out, you know, notes. Like that, and you'll just be follow following along with that. And the progression of that is A to G to, um, to B, and then back to A. Um, and so you'll just be following along with eighths. So while the guitar is holding out those notes, you'll be going uh, A. just goes back to the intro again and then the verse four times for the last time and then the chorus and then your final uh, holding note is a B and then there's Andrew's little drum fill and then B and that's it and that's the whole song uh, hopefully this video is slightly more concise looks like I shaded it off about two minutes um, and so that's the bass part for Welcome to Misery um, in the description will be the order and everything. And unfortunately, tapping it out would take a long time. Um, so just kind of rewind the video and go from there. If, uh, if you have any other questions, again, just make sure you uh, just text me, message me, whatever, it's fine.